Hello everyone. Today's challenge uh, with what the news sources are reporting about the war in Ukraine is the matter of priority. Now, granted, the things that they're covering multiple times across multiple sources are important, but what surprises me is not enough coverage of something that should be off the charts important. So, there is this, you know, the uh, summit in uh, Lithuania, which we already know will be primarily focused on the war. This is important. I get it. This is a conversation with our allies. This bit is being reported across multiple sources, which surprises me because, once again, this is just something reported by Russia. We literally have no confirmation from any other source anywhere outside of Russia that this is true. And this is not the first story like this. You know, right now they're saying they have foiled a British plot to land in Kherson. Um, you can go back and just um, Google Russia claims to foil plot and enter a year. 2021, 2022, 2023. There's going to be something. So I have serious doubts that this is true. Uh, and remember, these are the people who are still accusing Ukrainians and specifically, personally, President Joe Biden of carrying out the terrorist attack in Moscow. So, but multiple sources are reporting this, and my question is, why? How is this even important, considering it's unconfirmed information from a known, unreliable source? This is kind of important. Uh, this is continuing uh, floods in uh, uh, Russia farther uh to the central part of Russia. So, yeah, okay. Uh, but, again, that is Russia's problem. Um, you know, their uh, very slack handling of their own uh, precautionary measures for natural disasters uh, is very well known. So, not surprised. Another thing, you know, Russia uh, warned of its citizens not to travel to the Middle East. Oh, yeah? Why? What happened? Why do you think there might be a problem for Russians there? And multiple sources are covering this. Again, this is kind of important. Wow. Kind of. Um, the Guardian gave a decent summary about what is in the bill. Um, so you can read it for yourself. And again, this is, you know, they're saying it is a controversial measure. Um, why is it controversial? The country is at war. It needs more people to fight the war. So, yeah, we are going to need more soldiers. But, still, I maintain that this should be the most important story. This I don't see enough of. So, what is this all about? Russia had carried out a massive uh, drone and missile attack on Ukraine's infrastructure, and it basically directly struck um, a uh, power station in the Kiev region. It's one of the biggest. So that is serious. And we talked about this before. Ukraine's air defense systems can go only so far, considering they don't have sufficient fuel and sufficient ammo. This is the direct result. So everybody who has been sitting on your ass and considering whether or not to send help to Ukraine when Ukrainians asked for it, I hope you're happy. I, I don't know how to explain fully the impact of this, what this means. It's not just hundreds of thousands of people without power. That's not just it. But the fact that a major object like that was destroyed in the region where Ukraine's capital is located. That is important. President Zelensky told you guys the truth. He was not exaggerating when he said that unless the help comes now, and it is substantial, Ukraine cannot fight this war. And the consequences will be dire for everybody. Yes, that means you, Europe. That means you, United States. That means Africa, which 
is fed by Ukrainian grain. It means everybody. So I don't know what the reaction of the U.S. government will be to this. I hope there is something that can be done at this point because the situation is very precarious.